Hi everyone, we are back with our shared reading. This is a non-fiction, which means it is uh, true. It's true, it's not a, like a little um, fiction story. It's technical text. The standard is analyze text elements and the skill is describe text connections. The title is How to Make Guacamole. And I'm just gonna go over this quickly. We've already read it several times, but let's go through this again. See if you can start to figure out some of the words as we go along. How to make guacamole. Guacamole is a dip made from avocados. The tasty treat pairs well with chips and is often served with spicy foods such as tacos and fajitas. Did you know that avocados are also called alligator pears? That's partly because they are shaped like pears and they have bumpy green skin like alligators. Although avocados may look like vegetables, they're actually fruit. When making guacamole, it's best to use ripe avocados. Here's how to make sure an avocado is ripe. First, carefully press your thumb down on the skin. If it's really hard, the, av the avocado is likely not ripe yet. If the skin moves a little, then it's probably ready to eat. Make sure the avocado is not too soft though. If you can squash the skin down a, a lot, an avocado may be overripe and mushy inside. Ingredients. Four ripe avocados, peeled and cut into slices. Two medium tomatoes, chopped. Two green onions, finely chopped. Two cloves, garlic, minced. Two tablespoons, fresh lime juice. Quarter cup cilantro, chopped. Half teaspoon, kosher salt. Sprinkle of cayenne pepper, California produces about 90% of the United States avocado crop. A little fast fact. Safety note, big letters, that means take note. Some of the ingredients have to be cut with a knife. You should never touch a sharp knife or cut anything or cut things by yourself. Ask an adult for help. Directions, now it's important to follow these directions in order, right, they're numbered. Number one, put the cut avocados in a bowl. Mash them with a fork, but don't make them too mushy. They should be a little chunky. Number two, add the two tablespoons of lime juice and sprinkle on the salt. Lime juice helps keep the dip from turning brown. Number three, add the green onions, tomatoes, minced garlic, and cilantro. It's a list, remember our, our comma rules in here. It's a list of um, ingredients, green onions, comma, tomatoes, comma, minced garlic, comma, and cilantro. Number four, sprinkle on the cayenne pepper and stir the guacamole. Number five, serve right away with tortilla or pita chips, enjoy. Chips and guacamole is a popular snack served at many parties. Okay, so let's take a look at how to make guacamole. I technically should have read these first, right? So that when I reread the um, the recipe to you, you would have had these in your mind so you would know what you were looking for. Um, what you can do is listen to me read these. You could pause the video and then go back and listen again if you'd like. Number one, complete the sequence chart on page 177, that's here, to retell the steps of the recipe in the correct order. And then number two says, which step of the recipe comes first? Is it stir the ingredients, smash the avocados with a fork, add lime juice to the avocados, or sprinkle on cayenne pepper? Number three, which of the following should be chopped before you add them to the dip? Pears, peppers, tomatoes, garlic cloves. All right, let's do the sequence chart first. Now I'm gonna be thinking about the first thing that, uh, that we need to do to uh, make the recipe in the correct order. And notice the arrows are going down this time. Last time we did one of these, the arrows were actually going up, so we had to start at the bottom. It's always important to pay attention to that part. So this time we start at this top part. First thing we're gonna do is put the avocados in a bowl and mash them with a fork. The next thing, add some lime juice, sprinkle on the salt, add green onions, tomatoes, garlic, and cilantro, sprinkle the cayenne pepper. And the final thing is stir the guacamole, serve the dip with chips and enjoy. Now let's think back over here, which step of the recipe comes first. Hmm, I could even help, I could get help over here, right? And it is mash the avocados with a fork. 
And then this following one, it was you should chop your tomatoes before you add them to the dip. Okay, let's take a look over here. This one says, why do you think the author says to serve the dip right away? And number five is, what is one way to tell if an avocado is ripe? So you can pause the video here. You can go back to the beginning and re-listen, or if you think you know, you could um, uh, write it down. The author says to serve the dip right away so it will stay fresh and taste better. If the dip sits out too long, it might get mushy and not taste as good. And then what is one way to tell if an avocado is ripe? One way to tell if an avocado is ripe is to use your thumb to press down on the avocado skin. If the skin gives way a little bit, that means if it pushes in a little bit, then the avocado is probably ripe. If the skin is really hard, then the avocado is likely not ripe. If the skin is too squishy, the avocado is probably overripe. 